I love to drive. And I love to drive in all conditions, whether it's raining or whether it's sunny or foggy. I just love it. Um, the problem is that I like to drive fast a lot of the times. <laughs> and unfortunately, the, the police of the state law don't like it. So I just need, I, I, I'm looking for a way to get around that. And, and <laughs> what color is your car? It's, it's white. Good choice. <laughs> we're just playing with you. Right. We're, we're, we're going to coach you into invisibility, but red cars are harder. <laughs> First, we want to remind you that anything that life causes you to ask for, you've put into your vortex. And so while this sounds like I want to drive fast, there are a lot of things that you put into your vortex. I like expanding. I like feeling the power and focus of my being. I like freedom. I like being able to decide what is driving according to the conditions for me. I like feeling the power of my vehicle and I like feeling the clarity of my being. In other words, there is a lot that you've put into your vortex that the universe is working to assist you in accommodating. Also, we will say that every law that has ever been written was written by those who were outside of the vortex trying to prevent something unwanted from happening. And so part of it, part of what you're feeling is resistance to um, resistance. Mm -hmm. Interesting, feeling resistance to resistance. But remember, every battle that you wage, no matter what, is a battle really against yourself. So what you want to reach for is alignment. Jerry and Esther recall vividly driving from Asheville, North Carolina down toward Atlanta and they were on a major interstate and Esther was driving at that time a rental car and while she was driving a car passed her at a very high rate of speed. Esther was already a few miles, quite a few miles over the speed limit. <laughs> And this car passed her way, way over the speed limit. And before she could catch her breath, another and another and another and another. And they had markings on their cars. They were race cars of some kind. And these people were whipping through traffic and not just passing Esther, but at high rates of speed, weaving in and out of traffic. And Esther and Jerry watched them as they went off into the distance. And at first, Esther gasped, as she's been trained to do, in a negative response to their misbehavior. And then she felt the negative emotion wash over her. It was as if her negative comment was more of a problem than their driving. And then they asked to chew it over with us. And we said, what you're witnessing are people who are in such control of their vehicles that they are actually safer on this road than anyone else you see. In other words, they were psychically tuned, they knew their instruments, and they were moving with precision. And Jerry and Esther did not need to worry about that. Then, recently, Esther saw a television interview where a young man who was driving a race car at an incredible rate of speed is being interviewed by a woman who was worried about his speed. He likely will win this race that he is vying for later in this year. And she was in a sort of motherly way wanting to evoke from him some sense of, of worry, some sense of shouldn't you take it easy? Should you really be doing something so reckless with your preciousness so early in life? In other words, only really old people should be able to drive at high rates of speed. <laughs> not, not the young and the beautiful. And the young man said, well, you have to understand that when we're all moving at this high rate of speed, it's not like you think it is because we are all moving in relationship to one another. So 
This is the thing that we want to say to you is that when you're in sync with who you are, then you have all of the resources so that everything that you want will be your experience. Esther is pretty sure that even though the monster bus is 45 feet long and nearly 14 feet tall and 102 inches wide with a car behind it hooked on, she's pretty sure that she's invincible to the police. Because they don't find her and she breaks the speed limit in every state she drives in. <laughs> significantly, significantly. But she doesn't feel guilty about it because she knows her machine. She doesn't drive recklessly because she loves her life and others. In other words, she's in tune. So we're encouraging alignment and anything else that you feel like doing. Right. But you can't be defiant in it. In other words, you can't, you can't be, you, as you spoke to us, you said, I like to drive and I like to drive fast. But then you spent the next several minutes saying, but the problem is, mm -hmm. and the police don't like it. So you have active in your vibration things that, that oppose what you're wanting to do that act as resistance that keep you out of the vortex which makes you not what we are talking about here in other words get in the vortex and then drive fast get in the vortex and then drive fast don't don't drive fast so that you can be in the vortex get in the vortex oh, okay. and then drive fast